So one of the coolest new features that has come out to Mac OS Sierra was Siri. And for anybody that has had an iPhone or an iPad in the last little while, probably has seen Siri pop up on that device. Um, so it's kind of cool that it's finally made itself to the Mac. But how do you use it? How do you get Siri to come up? Uh, and what do you how what cool little tricks can you do with it? We're not going to go too much into tricks, but the first thing is how do you get Siri to actually show up? So a few areas, and this again is depending on the age of your Mac, and you have to make sure you're running Sierra. You'll see first off, right in the very top, there's this icon, and that little icon up here is the Siri icon. So you know if you click on that, that's going to bring up Siri. Now if you go down to the bottom to the dock down here, you'll see Siri. Siri is there as well. So that's the Siri icon. So if you click on either one of those, Siri just kind of comes up and starts getting ready to do whatever you so ask her. Now the other way that you can bring Siri up is by default, if you look down at your keyboard, you will see the space bar and the command key. Now the command key, I believe, has to be the left hand command key. And you're going to hold the command key down and hit the space bar. And when you do this and you keep them held, Siri comes up. I'm going to get rid of that space bar. That's a long hold. If you hold those two short, or if you just tap them, you'll notice that spotlight comes up. So you want to make sure if spotlight comes up that you let it go and that you try again and hold them longer. So once Siri does come up, though, if you decide, see I brought up spotlight, if you decide accident, you can either hit the little X sitting right here, escape key on your keyboard. The escape key is the key in the top left hand corner of your keyboard. So it's one that has the ESC on it. So that's the escape key. So um, if you don't like the command and space bar, just so you guys know, you can go up to the Apple, click on system preferences, and you will see in here all the way down right here is Siri. This is the Siri settings. So when you click on that, you'll see which language Siri is going to be in, what language she's going to speak in, uh, where her input is coming. Most of us are going to use the internal mic. And the shortcut. Now, the shortcut, of course, you can click and you can actually turn it into something different if you so choose. Uh, I like this one, so I leave it there. Also, you can see the show, show Siri in the menu bar. So if your Siri up here is not showing, this may be off. So you can see if I take it off, Siri disappears. All right, so I'm going to keep that on. If at the beginning you turned on your computer and decided to not turn Siri on, this is where you can turn Siri back on again, so just so you know. All right, so what kind of things can you do with Siri? I'll just give you a couple. So I'm going to open this up. What's the weather like today? Bad weather coming up today. Down to minus 11 degrees. Well, that's not good. Alright, so that's okay. Let's see what it says. I'm going to just get the microphone down here. What's the weather look like for tomorrow? Bad weather coming up tomorrow. Down Even to colder. Awesome. So those are just some little things, but you can do some other ones. I like these ones. 100 US dollars into Canadian. Answer is $132.79. Handy. Convert 20 ounces into milliliters. 191.47 milliliters. Awesome. And here's a good one for those of us that like just to move around on a computer. Um, to CNN.com. You actually see that it opens up a website and brings me up to CNN. So there you go. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys too much, but I, I really want you guys to just play with Siri. A lot of people are scared of Siri. She comes up and she's like, oh my gosh, just turn her off, get rid of her. She's confusing. Um, once you learn Siri, she is a very, very powerful part of the Mac system. She's a powerful part of the iPhone and iPad. And you want to get used to using her or him or however you want to set up Siri. Um, but play with it. It's a great feature and it's a welcome feature that came to the Mac. I hope you guys get a chance to use it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, and if you do, please subscribe, because I'm going to try to put up as many of these as I can for you guys. Uh, and like the video below. I look forward to reading your comments, and we will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.